Because there are still so many whys. Um, there has been two lawsuits in this case. The homicide was immediately dispatched to this to check to see if there was any foul play. There was some really unique video, really, that had been released when she was missing. The last time she was seen was February 1st. Um, acting erratically in an elevator, pushing buttons, going outside, looking back and forth. And when you see the video initially, you're like, what is she running away from? What could she be running away from? And so when homicide was called out and they did this full investigation, it was months later and they found out there was no foul play, there was still the why. Why is she out there? And even this many years later, we still don't know that. You know, in 22 years plus of doing this job as a news reporter, this is one of the cases that kind of sticks with me because we know the who, what, when, where, but the why is always the question. And when there's never a why to a story, especially in this case, there's so many questions left unanswered. That's why it still resonates. We were talking about it in the newsroom that the anniversary was coming up of um, finding her body and everyone started talking about it. It just was something that like we remembered the case. We remembered what it was like sort of talking about like, well, who could have been with her? What could have happened? It's just one of those things because there are no answers, no direct answers to why. And also, I think the, the history behind the hotel, the idea behind it, sort of the the whole perspective around this story, traveling alone, going to a hotel with a storied history, um, accessing a place that was for all intents and purposes, should have been locked and not accessed, and then being found in that tank the way she did. It was a devastating case that still, you know, has people questioning.